faith, my friend. A head that's filled with knowledge soon is too bloated with its own weight. Behave, JP. We're going to church. Shut up! Aura, leave your little brother alone. Sorry, Mom. Follow the yellow brick road. Me follow the devil in code. Mighty sees us. Speak only with your heart. Whoever heard of the bleeding brain of Jesus? Okay, that was the Crucifolks with Think With Your Heart. And back at number one, the newest from Multiple Godgasm. Bow down! Bow down! Those darn teenagers and their devil rock. Oh, Clay. Bow down! Do Jesus see? Ah, oh, nice. Burn in heaven. Burn in heaven. Burn in heaven. Burn. Yay! Church! Slow down, Oro. <laughs> Plenty of God for everyone, son. Dear friends, I look around at the congregation today, and my heart is filled with joy. Why? because I see everyone here using the Lord's greatest gift, life. You know, the biggest sin is to throw the gift of life back into God's stupid face. For remember the spooky story of Lazarus? He did not reject Jesus' gift of life back from the dead and say, Oh, Lord, you are a weirdo. Your gift is boring. Why don't you just take a hike, you big, dumb... Holy Messiah. Didn't he just do this sermon eight years ago? Tell me about it. I can do this one in my sleep. No, my friends. Lazarus believed that life is precious. As precious as money. Or those little kissing zebra knickknacks that we love to display on top of our cabinets. We must do everything in our power to preserve the gift of life, to show God that we appreciate it, and not to hawk it in his stunned face like a phlegmy gob of spit and laugh at his magnificent, big, dumb expression. Amen. 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 I saw you talking during the sermon, Clay, bored. Oh, just practicing my lip syncing, Reverend. <laughs> Love those greatest hits. Reverend Putty? Yes, Oral. I think you're right about people not spitting into God's face. That's why I get paid, son. Hey, Oral, want to come over to my house and play? Gee, can I, Mom? All right. But don't take any rides from strangers, son. Why? Be because, because you're, you're in your, your good, good Sunday, Sunday suit. suit. Oh, right. Bye-bye. Boy, Doey, Reverend Putty's sermon today sure made me think. Oral? You know you're not supposed to think when it comes to God and faith. I know, but I... Hey, let's cut through the cemetery. Okay. It's always so pretty. Do you think it's because dead people make good fertilizer? Hmm, maybe. But they sure make bad Christians. What do you mean? Everyone buried in the cemetery is sinning, Doey. Like the good reverend said, Lazarus did not reject Jesus' greatest gift of life. But all these people did. They're spitting in God's face. My grandpa wouldn't spit in God's face. I don't see your grandpa using life too much either. <gasps> oh, no. Grandpa. What are we going to do, Oral? Let's go to the library. Miss Sensordahl should be able to help us. Uh, okay. Oh, don't look so worried, Doey. I only want to do good. That's true. What are you doing, Miss Sensordahl? Oh, hello, boys. I'm just making a list of books. Special books. Are they special because they teach us the most? Mm, yes. In fact, they teach us too much. Too much? Miss Sensor Doll, Jimmy's looking through the Renaissance art books again. Filthy 15th century. Come on, Doey. We got some reading to do. For God. But, Oro! A 
I can't believe you broke the Eighth Commandment. Well, sometimes you've got to break one commandment to keep another. Now look, the first thing we got to do is dig up some dead people. Oh, I think I'd rather play baseball. But, Dewey, don't you want to make your grandpa alive again? Uh, well, he did used to buy me ice cream all the time. Sounds yummy. <laughs> Let's do it. Boy, Oral, he smells worse than when he was alive. Well, he has been wearing the same underwear for some time now. That's another sin. Mom says cleanliness is next to godliness. It sure is. Let's take his clothes off. Then, after he's alive, he can go put on some fresh things. Good idea, but you do it. I don't think I should see Grampy's doodly do. Okie dokie. Do, 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 do. Don't peek. Yikes. Phew. He ought to air out in a bit. Okay, here goes nothing. I conjure thee by the fire of Gira and by the lights of Shamash in the name of the covenant. Come and rise up before me. Ia Masaratu Bagalomakia. That doesn't sound very Protestant, Oral. Well, at least it's not Catholic. C -c 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 Catholic. Hot dog. Hey, you kids. What are you doing here after hours? Uh, uh, what the? Thank you, Lord, for this bounty. You can't be running around like that. Grandpa, no! My Grampy just ate his brain. <laughs> it worked! He's alive again! God be praised! Yeah, but now Officer O'Chunk is dead. Not for long. His uniform's all bloody. Strip him. Gotta spend God's good, let me think him for a food. Rub a dub dub, thanks for the grub. Help, Mom! Pervert! Are you going to burn the Bible? Only the Jewish parts. Get him! Almost done there? Yep, just wrapping it up. Hmm, I'd give it one more shake. All right. Thanks, buddy. By the way, my name's... Later, Pally. You get her skirt, do we? I'll get her top. Hmm. Wait a minute. Miss Blankface didn't get bloody at all. Yeah, but these clothes are too revealing. She looks like a tramp. <clears throat> Hi, Dad. Pretty great, huh? Nope. And wash that smile off your face, young man. You're in trouble. I think you should meet me in my study. Gee, Dad, I was just trying to stop those dead people from spitting phlegm into God's face. That much I understand, Oral. But there are other ways of preserving God's gift of life. How? Well, for one, where in this book does it say the dead have to be naked? Well, it doesn't really. But some of their clothes were stinky and messy with blood. Their clothes didn't smell, Oral. Their bodies smelled. Their disgusting, exposed bodies. Oh, I guess I was too caught up in bringing them back to life to notice. That's no excuse. Nudity is a horrible thing and should only be committed as a last resort. You know the 11th commandment. Thou shalt be ashamed of thy natural anatomy. Oh yeah, those lost commandments always throw me off. Didn't you notice all the people running away in terror? Yeah, but I thought they were just scared of their brain getting eaten. Life isn't that simple. I'll show you. Rest his soul! Don't look, son! They're not decent! Burn their privates off! Gosh, you sure are right, Dad. Well, I suppose that's why they call me Dad. And not Mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fun's over. You know what you have to do. Kill the zombies? Haven't you learned anything? Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Gee, Dad, I'm sorry I goofed up. I was just trying to be good, so you could love me more than you do now. Oh, Oral, I could never love you more. People only have a certain amount of love in them, and I'm afraid I have to divide mine up between at least a dozen people. Oh. But remember, son, I love you enough. I love you enough too, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh.